20 years does go by very fast. It does, it? man. It's it crazy. really does. All Our right. 18 year old daughter graduating this year, going to college. It's like, where did that go? Uh, it's blink of an eye. Seriously, it's crazy. How are your eyes, by the way? You were out a little bit later. I was out last sick. week. Yeah, eyes yeah. are 100 times better than they were. Yeah. You may have caught a week ago, Monday night, we were joking about That's the right. rock. I look like Rocky Balboa. I'd, I'd been hit. But uh, yeah, so they're better. Thank you for asking. Yes, sir. Uh, and good to yeah, have you back. Good to be back. And it's good to be back on a day like today. Take a look. I mean, after the weekend, Boy, how about Saturday? 3.09 inches of rain on Saturday, by the way. I know that was two days ago. We always like to look forward to next weather. Unless there's something significant, I'll just tell you. Saturday was the rainiest day we've ever had in March in Philadelphia, ever. Think about that for a second. Records go back 150 plus years. Wettest March day ever recorded, 3.09 inches of rain. Significant. And now we're rewarded with a beautiful Monday evening. Here's our live shot down around the Italian market, temperature-wise sitting mid and low 50s around most spots. Down the shore and in the Poconos, a little bit cooler, temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. The shore, that's because of the influence of the relatively cool water. But a beautiful look here. We still have about an hour until the sun goes down, uh, 719 tonight. And this is what it looks like over the Ben Franklin Bridge from Camden looking across the river. And the bugs seem to be out, out and enjoying it as well. Tonight, we're going to keep temperatures in the 40s. We'll drop these numbers a little bit over the next few hours into the mid and low 40s here around the region. But it's a quiet night, a chilly one again, not quite as cold, 36 degrees. Clouds are increasing. And then tomorrow, our high temperature is going to be in the probably low 50 somewhere in there. The difference with today and tomorrow is the cloud cover. I do not expect any rain tomorrow. So if you work outside, you're going to have all day to do whatever it is you do, but it will be much cloudier. Well, it'll be cloudy. There's no clouds today, so a, a, a total difference. And the clouds are out ahead of our next weather maker. So let me start your future cast 24 hours essentially from now, 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. You see the clouds in our area. The green would be rain. The white here is the cloud cover. We're dry all day and all evening tomorrow. But as we get into Wednesday morning, Wednesday is the next chance of rain. We start your morning drive with some hit and miss showers here and there. Nothing too crazy. But as we get into the mid to late part of the morning through about noon, now what you're seeing are showers that are rolling through. And that's what I expect. I don't expect it to be just straight raining for six, seven hours. You'll get some rain and then it will pass on by. You get more rain, it will pass on by. So if you do have outdoor plans on Wednesday, mainly like mid morning through the early part of the evening, that is when we're going to see those shower chances roll through. Things do taper off a little bit by Wednesday night. And then as we get into Thursday, there is the potential for a bigger weather maker. And I say potential because it's really going to depend on where this low tracks. Right now, we are tracking rain, and I think it's about an 80% chance. I just updated this here for you. It's going to be breezy. I'm not super optimistic that this game's going to happen on Thursday. I will say there is one model we look at that is a high-resolution model that's starting to populate the data. And it actually has that line farther east and dries us out. I will show you that tonight at 11 o'clock. I really uh, encourage you to tune in on that, especially since we're talking about an impactful day with you know all of you, many of you, uh, heading on out there to uh, Citizens Bank Park. So that's Thursday. Friday, we dry things out. And then the Easter weekend holiday, other than a few stray showers late Saturday and into Sunday, looking dry and up into the 60s. That is your weather forecast. You're watching CBS News Philadelphia. We'll be right back.